Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D text effect. So this is something you would need to wear 3D glasses for, if that makes sense. All right, let's get started. All right, we're here in Illustrator, and now I'll go to Create New. I'll come up here to Print, and then I'll choose a letter right here, and we'll say Create. First, I'm going to hit T on my keyboard, and that'll bring me to my text tool. I'll click just one time, and then I'll type, so cool. Now I'll get back on my selection tool, and I'm gonna get on a corner and just hold shift and drag this out so it's really big on my canvas. Now I'm going to change the font to something a little thicker. Um, I think Cooper is a pretty nice one for this example. Okay, so we've got our so cool word. And the thing we want to do is add kind of a blue version behind it and a red version and then offset those. Now in the past, you could do three copies of this. And of course you still can do that, but it means if you ever have an update or a change to your text, you have to update that text three times. And that's not really a great way to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the appearance palette to build this text. So let's open that with window appearance. And whenever you type like this, it will automatically put that type into the characters area. So if we double click that, we can see the fill right down here. And when we build an appearance and we have a lot of different copies, we want all that to be up here in type, not characters, because you can't really add effects or move these things around in your characters area. So let's click on this fill and just get rid of it. Then we'll come up here to type and I'm just going to click on that and then come over here to the fly out and go to add new fill. So now you can see if we double click characters, there's nothing there. But if we double click type, we have a black fill here. Now I want a copy of this fill. So I'm just going to click it and drag it down here to the little page at the bottom. And this fill is now underneath this fill. So we have two copies of fills right on top of each other. Now we'll actually want three copies one black piece and then one red to the left and then one blue to the right. So I'm going to make one more copy of this fill and this time I'll just hold option and drag it below. You can come down here and duplicate it or you can just hold option and drag it. Okay, so let's select this fill right here and we're going to change this to red in your swatches palette. Now, if you don't have your swatches open or any of the other windows that you see here, you can go to window and just open them that way. Swatches are right down here. Okay, so let's change that to red. And now I'm going to offset this. And to do that, um, I'm going to come up here to effect, distort and transform, transform. And that'll bring up this transform effect dialog box. So we don't want to make it smaller or bigger. We just want to move it. So we want to move it horizontally and we'll check preview so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to use my down arrow key to move it over. So now you can see what's happening. We've got a little bit of the red showing behind and we don't want any vertical moving. So this is perfect. Now we'll say, okay, if we click this down carrot, you can see that transform effect right here underneath the red fill. Okay, now let's go down here to this black fill. I'm gonna click that, and then we'll move this down to the CMYK cyan. Now, if you don't have these colors over here, you can always double click your color here and change it this way. And I think I want this to be a little bit lighter blue anyway. So we'll say, okay. And now I want this to be transformed also, but I want it to be to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this area beside the transform word, hold option and just drag it down here until I get that little hand with the plus symbol. So what that's done is it's added that transform to my blue and now it's exactly behind the red, but I want it to go the other way. So I'm going to click on transform. And instead of negative seven, I'm going to make this positive seven. 
we'll preview it. And now you can see the red and the blue both going on opposite directions. Okay, so we'll say okay. And so that's basically how you create a 3D effect in Illustrator. Um, I'm going to use my hand tool. This is a space bar to move this over a little bit because I want to show you how you can kind of save this appearance to be used with more text or options in the future. Okay, so we'll open Window, Graphic Styles, and now we can take this appearance and put it down here to save it. So what we do, we want to get right on this little picture. We can't be over here. We have to be on the picture itself and just pull it down into the graphic styles. Okay, and you can see it kind of looks like our effect that we have. Okay, so now if we decide to draw a box, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and I'll just kind of draw a rectangle here. Now I can come down to the graphic style and click that and it'll apply that same effect to my rectangle. We can also type more text, make it a little bigger or and then click this and we'll get the same effect. Now you'll probably notice that this looks a lot more um, pronounced on this version and that's because it's not as big. So it's still putting the same amount of red and blue on either side. So it's a lot more pronounced on a smaller word. And then if we increase this, most likely you'll see that it increases that stroke. So to fix that, you can come up to appearance, go to clear appearance and it'll get rid of all your effects and then come in and apply the graphic style again. And now it matches this one up here because we have about the same type size. And now if we want to make edits to this, we can just type into it. It'll apply those same effects in the same way. Before you would have to type awesome three times because you have three copies of that text behind there. Now you'll have to go out and buy some 3D glasses so you can see all the fun 3D effects you just made. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.